Okay, um, <coughs> so we got a, my blip on the scope here is um, something uh, I call computerized candy land. In the mart, every purchase is noticed, recorded electronically. It's the perfect voting machine. What is bought is what is restocked. One problem among many people aren't always buying what they really need. People are seldom buying what they really need until they need it. Slowly, the truly needed items are being replaced by the fun stuff. And eventually, as more stolid shops with inventories driven by real people are shoved out by the huge warehouses with cheaper things, the only things left available will be the things the simple-minded majority found amusing enough to be preoccupied with. Oh my, must be nice. <laughs> Park your caddy in the parking lot. <laughs> Pull out the trees. Put in a parking lot. Yeah. I often joked that the next thing they should do is have the computer systems buy and sell from each other. Yeah, who needs people? You know, let's have the robots do it. <laughs> Normally, I would have worried about, uh, you know, the way this sort of thing was going. But I, I realized that a situation like this uh, would destroy itself before too long. As I say, Frankenstein saves nine. <laughs> Whereas Einstein would say, Octo Liba. Einstein is not as good as Swystein. <laughs> or it's the calm pewter before the storm. But the storm will wipe the landscape and denude the world as we know it before it's done. The dilemma is a lack of creative imagination coupled with computerization as of yet too primitive to really do the job they're expected to do. The simpletons expect too much from their computers. So there will be a dramatic shift in inventory from usefulness to the amusing, coupled with sham. But you'll find it far from amusing, particularly if you have to get affordable clothing and you're outside of the generic sized person with the most spending power that makes the most mart purchases. Let's say the middle class suddenly became all pygmies. 
the Mart, soon the only store in town, would sell only clothing, bedding, backpacks, etc. Um, that would only fit pygmies. All the rest of the gentry would have to take up making their own clothing like Mahatma Gandhi. Worse yet, customers who must come to depend on the mark for necessities may find the item they need no longer stocked. And they with nowhere else to go save the internet with the accompanying shipping and handling. Also, if they arrive in a location, for example, where it's winter and they need gloves, the mark may have pulled all possibilities in order to anticipate the oncoming season months in advance which is more lucrative to do in lieu of holding items, holding the needed items in stock toward the end of the season. Now, if you need a pair of gloves in February or even March, you know, you're up there in the, the Arctic Circle, well, you know, tough luck. You see, it's a synchronization between the customers and the computers that report their purchases. Every one, and subsequently their buying habits to the producers. The resultant situation is the exponential sort of reactive increase of a narrow selection of items that get more and more forced into categories to fit the stereotypes. There is little, if any, human creativity on the part of the producers to innovate and come up with totally unique products that depart from the norm or the mainstream of what is considered saleable. Um, now, we can borrow from the CB's famous motto, Can Do, but this time put forward the parody, Candy Do, because this is computerized candy land. You know, you're going to drift off into a uh, mole rat mutated computerized dream world. Bye, bye, bye. Destabilization of the mind. Hypnotize them. And they go insane. Cause them to mutate so that their third or fourth generation offspring are so mutated they have 20 or 30 uh, food allergies, let alone anything else. <laughs> Spray some perfume into the air and uh, selected members of the audience collapse. Computerized Candyland. So let's sum this up. In the Mart, every purchase is noticed and <coughs> recorded electronically. It's the perfect voting machine. What is bought is what is restocked. One problem among many, people aren't always buying what they really need. People are seldom buying what they really need until they need it. Slowly, the truly needed items are being replaced by the fun stuff and eventually as more stolid shops with inventories driven by real people are shoved out by huge warehouses with cheaper things, the only things left available will be things the simple-minded majority found amusing enough to be preoccupied with. I often joked that uh, the next thing uh, they should do is have the computer systems buy and sell from each other. Normally, I would have worried about the way this sort of thing was going, but I realized that a situation like this would destroy itself before too long. As I say, Frankenstein saves nine, or Einstein is not as good as Schweinstein, 